Something that Climate FC can't even do Something that Sheffield Wednesday can't even do But Ipswich Town FC did it The team that hasn't been in the Prem for many years Just promoted in the Premier League I believe one in two years Two freaking years I don't know what that manager He used to coach Man United Academy I don't know what he did to make them promote But it has to be studied So I'ma study it today I'm just going to give a few theories of what made Ipswich so good this year So you're not going to see me talking like Pep Guardiola Giving some formations and tactics But I'm really going to give some great carries That will be interesting in this video So hit that like button subscribe Theory 1 The signing My first theory has to be quite obvious honestly If you're a League 1 team And you got second last year in League 1 And you're coming to the championship I feel like you need to buy some new players And get some new ballers So let's see what Ipswich got Years After doing my digging on my phone, checking everything, checking all the players in the M Switch squad, it's actually surprising. They did all of this, keeping most of their players that they played at League One, which is really impressive. They did sign a few players, they even signed some youth, like a goalkeeper and another player I don't remember. I just did my digging. And they even signed the star Omari Huntington. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but this guy, he's a real star for the Chelsea Academy and Arsenal Academy too. He was there and he balled out. He was one of the best signings there. So he played a big role in getting that team promoted. They even had that 10. Um, Connor Champlin. He was cooking this season. Being Ipswich top scorer, balling out for the club. Meg Hannon did all of this, keeping the 4 2 3 1 that he had in the League one which is quite impressive because i feel like what you promote you uh, change a little bit the formation but he kept it theory two the fan i really don't think ipswich could promote to the premier league without the help of the fans without the chance because honestly i'm thinking about what did these fans say to these players what did they do to encourage them so good to literally have so many wins this season in the first season of the championship after years the stadium capacity almost 30k people allowed to sit every single home game there were so many people pulling up they were almost filling up the stadium compared to some other teams i also had loads of people coming but it must also depend of the type of chance the atmosphere how good was it a few moments later so after a few days i saw that the atmosphere at switch was great especially at the promotion game there was a big 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 atmosphere they wanted their team to promote they had to make sure because Leeds could have promoted so Ipswich lost and Leeds won so they made sure to support their team to the max and also on Instagram on the social medias because they just play a big role when it comes to supporting their team Instagram I'd say Ipswich is maybe top five of the most followed it's actually quite surprising because I feel like they don't have that much followers but they still have so many supporters that shows the passion that the Ipswich fans have for their team the coach the coach Coach has something wise in his head. Doing all of this at the age of 37 is actually crazy. Switch is one of the poorest squads in the league. And he still carried the team to the Premier League. Because like Leicester, the one of the richest team in the championship, but Ipswich one of the poorest team at the same time coming from League One. He literally carried them to the Premier League in one year. And I wonder what he did. What is the formation? What change did he do? The man is literally younger than Ronaldo. Not the Ronaldo. He's still a baller. He might even become a future coach. As I said, I'm not that type of formation or tactical analyst, but there's really something different with this guy's tactics and formation. If you guys are really good at that, comment me down below. What did he do with the squad? And most of the squad, they're quite pretty young. When I check the squad, there's not really much players that are over the age of 30. And I'm saying it, 30. But they're like all under 25. They're all under 20s. So it's a really young squad, which is crazy. Can uh, sorry, I pronounced your name wrongly, but show me. What did you do? Theory 4, passion. Don't mind my hair recording this fourth theory. Ipswich just have the passion. Passion this season. Honestly, I don't watch much the championship. I'm really just watching the stats, how the team performed for one and how it was the ratings but i'm guessing ipswich had the passion i don't know what type of speeches the coach was giving but he must have motivated the players so much to win those games and win it for the team some youtubers made some tactical formation analysis you can check it out maybe we will understand how they made it 
to the second spot being one of the poorest team in the league i'm not saying the poor but one of the teams with the less budget having young players but with all of these things and even having a young coach all of these they still made it to the prem honestly i'm not feeling the prem season good this year but it's still an accomplishment making it to the prem after many years because they used to be in the prem in the past what are your opinions? Will Ipswich this year survive the Prem or will they relegate? Hopefully you don't finish like Sheffield United.